Minister joining us live from our studio within Vicarage Road this evening. It's a very warm hall. It's high. Welcome to David James. Good evening, Emma. Hello. <laughs> nice to have you with us. A trip up memory lane, literally, since you stepped out of your car this afternoon. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I never get tired of walking around this area and remembering what I was doing as a youth team player in all different shops, all different places, uh, digs just down the road you know, next to the girls' school. Um, yeah, and being back in oh, a school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, Tony, definitely a professional. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I love this club because uh, seven years from schoolboy through to first team, um, wonderful, wonderful memories. That, that story of you breaking your thumb kind of segues into you, David, doesn't it? Yes, I don't know. Well, I'm sure you remember the trip, but we uh, you broke your thumb. Actually, no, not the trip. Actually, you broke your thumb. And back in the day for the, for the younger audience, um, there was a first team goalkeeper, reserve team goalkeeper and youth team goalkeeper. And essentially that was the order of uh, opportunity. Uh, although there were, I think there was only one sub at the time, might have been two. Um, so Tony broke his thumb. And Steve Sherwood, I think, was injured, and dislocated his finger. That, yeah. And then uh, the semi-final against Tottenham at Villa Park, I was—I had to take my kit in a bag on the fan bus. Um, they told me that I might get a chance of playing or something. So I thought, like a like a naive schoolboy, which I literally was, um, that I might get a chance. So I went there, ended up watching the game. Gary Pumley was in goal. And uh, my teammates, you remember Ash and Sol and them lot, they just went, Jamo, you would have saved them. And I was like, yeah, of course I would have done. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that I didn't get I, a minute's sleep you the night have. before. <laughs> <laughs> I I think, you. Listen, as, much, as much as Graham was the legend, this, that and the other, I think that was one big mistake for myself. I'd rather have played Dave. I said it to him after. I'd rather have played Dave at his age than, than Gary Plumley. David, you went on to have such an amazing career, you know, with England. Um, but for Watford, that's where it all began. It, it must be special to you still. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm just enjoying this. because. Is it weird watching it back? Yeah, again, to the younger fans. I mean, you're, um, it's very difficult to find old footage. Look at those white shorts. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, as I, I, hang on, I saved the penalty. Get in. <laughs> right, um, West Brom. I have to send you this away. and we transfer after or something. Yeah. <laughs> this is West Brom. I nearly scored. No, it's Portsmouth. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's I mean, just... I yeah, definitely. Oh, I'm buzzing off this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was a school kid when I came here. Um, the irony is when I joined joined Watford, we'd played Tottenham in a schoolboy match and yeah. lost six two. Um, if anyone remembers Rod Thomas, he scored five goals in the game. And Tom Wally, who was like a father figure to the youth team, he said that he wanted me and my, uh, my teammate Jason Solomon to come to Watford. I'd been at Tottenham for one year and played one game, so my record at Tottenham wasn't particularly great. Um, in the first week, we played three games and I just fell in love with the club. So watching these, it was a culmination, obviously, of going through youth team and schoolboy, whatever. Um, Love the, I mean, I love this place. I'm just sat here now, I, as I said to you on the way in. You know, Tony was the uh, was the number one goalkeeper. He must have hated me kicking balls at him in training because I know how he acted. So, uh, yeah, fond, fond memories. <laughs> and loads of love coming I in only, you as well. Only, go on, go on, Tony. I only disliked you, Dave, when you missed the target, mate. That was that was every other <laughs> kick, though. That was a problem. <laughs> Gary, sorry, he says, what was the feeling when uh, you first started your first team game for Watford? Um, before, well, put it this way, I didn't know I was going to be playing until the week beforehand. So all the pre-season, I was number two uh, in my in my my reckoning. Um, played Millwall, lost 2-1, um, dubious goal, the second goal. Had there been VAR, apart from that one incident early in, uh, early in the restart, it wouldn't have been a goal. It was a definite save right wide of the post. So we ended up losing two. Our Malcolm Allen scored for Millwall, ex Watford boy. So that wasn't very nice. We lost two one, and I thought that was my professional football career over because they would get someone else in. But uh, Colin Lee picked me for the next game. So I was, it was kind of um, a lot of ambivalence, if you like. I love the fact that I played. Hate the fact that we lost. Malibu is 
muchas gracias por ver el video, espero que habéis disfrutado y clicar aquí. Ahí donde dijo el día que clicar. <risa> Click here. Click here, please. For more videos. <risa>